Hello everybody, my name is Antwin, and welcome back to Let's Play. Um, for a second here. Let's continue on from my last left off. So we have nothing planned. Are these just not located anywhere? Can I not research these? No, okay, those are actually going to take forever. So let's get some actual, like, researches here. Camouflage. Maybe some better weapons. What's a marine? A marine farm. An ocean. Oh, we definitely need those. Absolutely. Uh, we have, you know, oceanic planets here as well. I think we have a, maybe a, we have a handful. You know, not a ton, but not nothing as well. But now, what are you doing? I guess just build more ships, right? I mean, they have a little bit of an upkeep cost. How about you actually produce a scout? It's going to take nine years, because that's just the way those one scout ships are, are built. Hopefully it should be fine. Are we, are we, are we going down anything? No, we're still, we're still making everything. Wonderful. Switzerland's going to be done in seven years. The England's going to be done in four years. We have seven big ships, 30 small ships. I, we might be able to beat them. Bit hard to say, though. And how is uh, diplomacy? Like, how are these other guys doing? Still only on three ships. And we've, like, doubled our population, so. And once our borders are secure, I think we are definitely going to start exploring more. And there is oceanic, so... On this ship planet right here, we'll probably just have like a giant food producing planet. We'll mine out this one. Okay, the England's gonna be done in six months. He has to come back. He's got a ton of fuel. He's got 200 missiles as well. 50% spying, which is something. I don't know what that really does. So I think we need to engage him. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch him. And if anything, if we don't catch him, then it's actually kind of fine. Diplomacy. No, we all research. So we got those done. Armor piercing turrets, heavy ion gun. Then we go for enhanced tungsten armor. But now these guys should be able to build farms. I think I still actually want them on research. Yeah, this is... I have a ton of researching going on. And as soon as that's done... Uh, do, how many population? 27,000 is available? After that, build... Two colonizers. Actually, no. Build one colonizer. And then the other planet can also build colonizers. Uh, build a new ship, build a colonizer. I feel like we need to engage them. This might go terribly, but... Got an, okay, we got an enhanced tungsten armor. Uh, do, 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 three beams, ion gun, heavy ion gun, sounds like that could be useful. It'll be done in eight years. I think we definitely need to look through our ship classes and kind of modify some stuff. It's... I think in our favor, chance to win 58%. Definitely don't want to auto-resolve. The battle of wherever the hell we are. So, yeah, so we have the England over here. Corvettes, the carriers. What kind of put the carriers? Where, where are you, carriers? And look at all these other things we can do. I think we're going to have maybe like half speed. I, I'm very interested by the way the uh, act on my own create group. No. You guys just all go here. Carriers will be behind you. Okay, so now I can see where they're all going to shoot. For two times speed. Uh, we probably actually, if anything, should probably uh, release all of our fighters. Uh, where's our other one? You. Send our X fighters. Kind of support you. Now, 
Look how big the England is. Absolutely massive. How far can I zoom in as well? I can zoom in pretty, pretty close. But I feel like we just want kind of a general overview. Do they have, like, fuel or anything? The two ion guns, a plasma missile. Oh, enemy fighters. Got four of them. Well, there's, there's four. There's 35 of them. Okay, and we definitely need to engage that. Excessive missile attack. Uh, the carriers can kind of just do whatever. I wish these ships... How fast do they go? 2.3. The strike corvettes go at 2.5. So this giant ship goes about as fast as these, uh... Other guys. They're very, very fast. Arm producing torpedo and ion gun. We have two ion guns and a plasma missile. Oh. Um. Well then. Uh, where's, where are you guys? Yeah, so you, you definitely need to shoot these guys. Shoot the fighters. You guys come kind, of, kind of move in. Uh, the carries can kind of just hang back. But you all need to basically fight the uh, the fighters. No question about that. But why are these ships so far apart? Why can't why couldn't you just all be grouped up? These fighters are vicious. They are not to be messed around with. Uh, eight ion guns? Can you act on my own? No, no acting on your own. Do you have guns? Okay, you actually do have weapons. So, uh, even the carriers need to probably get involved in this fight against the pirates. They destroyed another one of my ships! What the hell is the carrier going to do if the strike corvettes couldn't do any? These ships took seven years to build! Oh, oh, oh! The fighters are dead! I mean, it's not only a 56% chance to win, so I'm not really, like, super, super surprised. Back to hangers, weights. I'm gonna create a group out of you. So we have control group one. We lost, like, all of our strike corvettes except for two. I think we have, what, five? I'm pretty sure they have no light ships left. They only have their corvettes. You guys go back to your hangers for now. Uh, I'm assuming... There's a reason for that. A reason there is it that you should do that. Let's go up to speed four now. Those fighters though. Absolute monsters. Okay. So release all fighters. Can I get you to release your fighters as well? Everybody, strike group one. Definitely need to go here. Oh, these guys aren't even part of the strike group anymore. Uh, where are you guys? Yeah, you guys all need to come over here. Create group. Everybody, yeah, you're all part of group one. We have 11 fighters. We still have our giant guy here, but... How much hull does he have? He has... He's actually, like, no more stronger than the other guys. He just got... He has one ion gun. These guys have eight. What do what, what, what you even do? Oh, he, he has missiles, I guess. It's kind of your thing. Act on my own. No. Okay, so we have 13. 13 fighters. And they're all just kind of hanging out. They have, they have 12 guns. What am, I supposed to, what am I supposed to do against 12? It's 12 more guns than I have. These ships are slow. I think we need to go... What are you, what are you two doing? Get over here. Create a group. And I think we all basically have to swarm the front guy. Try not to die. That didn't work out so well. You definitely died. Uh... 
Why are their ships so much better than ours? Do they have shields? I don't think I have shields. Yeah, he might have shields. Okay, so there's one ship. We've, we've killed one of them. Uh, we've just lost basically our entire fleet, though. Uh, you are both, like, really, really weak. Well, we, we did it in the end. Um, shots fired, a lot of guys. Nine fighters. Um... They got some experience out of that. Oh no, that's, that's our fleet. Split fleet. I want you to combine with that fleet. Oh, we actually took their fight. Oh, we took their fighters. I don't know if we can really do anything. So those kind of sit there. But uh, we, we definitely need a better navy. Um... You know, that's not even a question. And can I just delete... Basically, just delete every design. Um, because they're all not good. None of, none of these ship designs are good. The Battle Cell Light, I don't, I don't even know because I haven't ever touched it yet. But I feel like we're just going to delete everything. The Scouts... You, I think the Switzerland find. Yeah, no, just delete everything. Okay, so the fighters, new prototype. Spain fighter X1. Sure. Okay, so here's the the weapon. What weapons do we have? We have iron guns, we have lasers, and we have torpedoes. We have plasma. So let's see. Uh, weight five, damage one. Damage three, range a thousand. Range seven hundred. Well, we're probably gonna put a plasma torpedo in the front. Uh, we'll put two ion guns in the back. So that's our weapons. Uh, the dual TRE. Weight sixty. No, oh, we can't. We can't put one of those on there. We'll have a very, very fast fighter, a speed fifty-seven. He's very, very quick. But there's no generators on him right now, so maybe when we put a few generators, it'll slow him down. Titan armor, but I think we want like enhanced tungsten, right? He has no. We have no shield, but probably maybe something we should be getting. But there we go. That is our back to hall selection. So we got the Spanish Fighter X1. Well, it's the Spanish Fighter X1. Hopefully, from build time from two months to 2.8 years. You know, whatever. So we be able to way more expensive ship. Uh, we got the Corvette. So this will be not Switzerland. The Corvette. So the Switzerland. Corvettes. Uh, oops, did I accidentally... We're still recording? Okay, we are. So Corvette Z1. Uh, let's see. Light armored turrets. Okay, so we can put ion guns, missiles, or plasma missiles on you. That's no drive. That's fine. So we'll have... No, no, lasers are... No, no, we, we still have a missile selected. So we'll put four missiles on you. We'll put um, a bunch of ion guns on you as well. I just want you to be kind of like a tank. 4,800 power balance. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. Let's go to deck two. Add a giant engine block. Look how fast this thing goes. It's, it's, like, it's like the speed of sound. 
and then throw a bunch of nuclear reactors on it, this won't be enough. Oh, we can oh we can put more weapons down here, or we can just put um Well the power of balance is fine. Put an enhanced tungsten armor on it. So can we put more guns? Can I put some lasers on here? I can. Can't put anything back here, sadly. From what's what what's mean from six to eighteen? Well, I mean, well, it's fine. We'll, we'll go. We'll go back. So actually, if I go to the Switzerland, you are yeah, you're the scout. I mean, I not, I know now the Switzerland isn't a scout type at all, but you know we'll go up here. You explore that. Just want to be building a colony ship. People build colony ships, fantastic. But the ship, six years. So it's actually faster, I think, than the other the other model. I don't want that. Actually, are we heavy ion gun? That's what we're still researching. Let's go back to the ship designer. The freighter was what was a carrier type? Like I'm not too the Norway Scout class R1. Okay, so yeah, you're our scout. So we just want you to be light. You don't need to be armored. You just basically need to be able to go places fast. Can only put these in the uh, the purple zone. So I think we're just gonna put a ton of engines on you, so that you are like Speedy Gonzalez. Speed 17. And we're also gonna need to put a, you know, a ton of fuel on you. We can't put some guns on you. So we'll put like a missile, just in case, just in case we need to. So we put our engines. We got the generators. We'll basically fill this thing up with generators. Titanium armor's fine. Uh, oh, a bunch of special stuff in here. Okay, so... Fuel tank. Can we put a bigger fuel tank? Or is that the biggest one we could put? Colonization module. Landing module. Fuel link. No, I guess we're just going to put standard fuel on you. Range 2,000. Okay, so we need this to go pretty high. Okay, now we want this to be symmetrical. 15,000. We definitely need to go faster than 15,000, so. Because the Switzerland, the, the, you know, the scout ship we just sent out goes 48,000. One thousand. Five. And now we are at fifty thousand. I mean this looks terrible, but you know it doesn't really matter too too much, I guess. We'll put like a scanner on you. We're gonna need at least a handful more power modules. Nine hundred. Now the power of ballast is in our favor. Is there anything else that this needs? It doesn't really look like it. I don't know if we can maybe put another fuel tank on here. We can. Nine year build time, 48,000. This is basically the ship that we had. And even then, I don't even know if this is necessary. But we, but we need that. Okay, so this is the, this is the Norway Scout Fighter, or it's not really a Scout Fighter, but you know what I mean. Oh, do 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 do. I'm not going to copy it. We're going to new prototype, the Japan Colonizer V1. And this really, it just needs to go from place to place. That's all. That's it. Just needs to go somewhere, colonize it. And that's it. How many? How many people? This can hold a thousand. How oh, about we set it to 2,000? Ooh, getting a little bit fancy now. I mean, this also, it doesn't need to go fast. I mean, it probably needs to go fast for like 1.7. You know, we'll, you know, we'll throw a bunch of engines on here as well. Just because the engines are nice. 
But other than the colonizer modules and the fuel, uh, we're probably going to need it at about 20,000, I would say. We'll just throw this all the fuel in here. So hopefully that should be fine. Fifteen thousand, and we probably want to go a little bit more. Probably, probably up to twenty. Let's go up to twenty-five. There we go. Twenty-five, sixty thousand. That's fine. We'll throw in some generators. Three generators there. Minus forty-five thousand. Yeah, this this, this isn't uh, working here. We're going to need to put at least two more. Or we can just get rid of engines. Uh, do, 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 do. How much engines do they take? 4,500, 3,000. I think these ones are just less efficient. So, yeah, there, there's our Japan colonizer. This episode is going to be a little bit longer due to the fact that it's uh, that we're going to be designing ships. But that's basically the rest of this entire episode, just be us building ships. So, Sweden. A carrier. H1. I, I don't know why they each need to have their own letter de designation, but that's fine. And here we are going to put in... A one second. Well, okay, apparently there's more than one person in my house right now. Okay, but what we need to do is... I think the containers will hold small ships. Okay. And does one hold 10,000? No, one holds 200. Actually, how many ships does that contain? Doesn't really say at all. I guess we'll just fill it up. I don't see reason really not to. As far as I know, there's no way to rotate these. Also, oh, it needs fuel as well, doesn't it? Hull power balance. Okay, let's put all uh, our some more. Well, we had no drive, so I'm assuming it might actually not show us until we put at least a, uh, an engine on here. 9,000 range. That's definitely not enough. I think the other ones were... Well, they were definitely higher. Uh, do, 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 do. Standard fuel tank. We have a handful. Let's fill up like a row. And here I think we want to also get to like 25,000. There we go, we got 25, but because this doesn't have the colonizer modules, it should be easier to power. And one more, there we go, and we can actually put maybe a handful of more fuel on here. One second, again. Okay, maybe maybe now we're done with the uh, interruptions. Okay, so that, that's going to be good for our Sweden carrier, I'm assuming. Let's just take a quick look on one of our planets and see how long that would take to build or how many ships that can actually hold Sweden carrier 27 it doesn't really say it's like 2400 container space I don't think we have any carriers that survived the battle even so we can't even so we can't even look but I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video so thanks everybody for watching my name is Anthem if you've enjoyed my thumbs up now I'm doing a thumbs down if you want to see more subscribe and goodbye